Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I'm here with a brand new video for you and it's going to be all about terms for people who are new to shooting and new to gun ownership. Things that you've probably heard and maybe you don't know what they mean. Whether you're a new shooter or a new gun owner, there are terms that you might hear at the range or in classes and you don't really know what they mean. So we're going to go through them and I'll explain to you what each one means because I know what it's like to be new to the world of firearms and not really grow up in that environment. And I think that sometimes it can be taken for granted that you just automatically know what all these words mean. So I've got a list here of gun terms and we're going to go through them and I'll explain to you what each one means. to my channel already please make sure to subscribe using the button down below somewhere also if you didn't see my previous video I'm doing a big giveaway because I hit 80,000 subscribers that was a big milestone for me so I'm giving away some of my favorite products and I'm going to be announcing the winner on June 12th so if you're watching this before then go down below to the description of this video and I'll include a link where you can enter my giveaway and win all that cool stuff oh it's hot I'm gonna start with one of the most important and common ones and it's actually two uprange and downrange and it's really important to know what these two mean when you're in a shooting environment because it will really help to keep everyone safe i did do a video on the basic gun safety rules i'll link that up here in case you want to watch it so downrange is where you want your projectiles to hit when you start shooting that's where you want your muzzle pointed that's the safe direction that's where you're going to be shooting towards and uprange is generally where everyone else will be standing all the shooters will be standing uprange so you don't want to point your muzzle uprange because that's where everybody is the next gun term we're going to go over is eyes and ears what does that mean when they say make sure you have your eyes and ears i always have my eyes and i always have my ears with me but they mean have your eye protection and your ear protection. So when someone says eyes and ears, make sure you have your eyes and ears on. That means your eye protection and your ear protection. And while we're talking about this, because a lot of you ask me about my ear protection, these were actually the first earmuffs I bought. They're walkers, and they're the electronic ones, but I actually don't use those. If you've seen my videos where I'm shooting, I use these. This is actually my second pair. I have a pair of lime green and yellow ones. But these are ear protection that have been molded to the shape of my ear. So I can just pop them in my ear. So that's what I usually use. You'll very rarely see me wearing a pair of earmuffs. And that's mostly because I have piercings up here. I have three cartilage piercings on this ear. And it's just really uncomfortable to have earmuffs on. Also, I just think that these are a lot more simple and minimalist. And I just really like having this molded ear protection rather than earmuffs. But either way, just make sure when someone says eyes and ears that you have a set of eye protection shooting glasses to protect your eyeballs and your ear protection something like this or these a lot of people ask me where i got these and you can't get these exact ones because a local vendor made me these but i might have a solution for you guys so keep an eye out for one of my upcoming videos where i'll kind of go over some options for you the next term we're going to go over is magazine many people use the terms magazine and clip interchangeably and they are not the same so here we have my shield this is what i carry and this is a semi-automatic firearm and it takes a magazine i put the ammunition in this magazine and that's what goes into the grip of the gun and feeds the gun ammunition so these are actual clip the majority of people who say the word clips usually mean magazine unless they're talking about these like with this AR magazine here the clip allows you to load it faster there we go you take this off the clip you take the clip off and this attachment and you've got a loaded magazine clips so the majority of the time you're talking about a magazine not a clip this is a magazine magazine memorize it the next term is ccw you will see this all over gun pages gun groups on facebook instagram hashtag ccw what does it mean CCW means concealed carry weapon. Sometimes people use it to mean like concealed carry in general, but CCW, those letters stand for concealed carry weapon. So if someone says, what's your CCW? I would say 
my shield is my CCW. Another three letter abbreviation you might hear is EDC. EDC means everyday carry. And usually when you see EDC, people are talking about what they carry and that includes their gun, but it also could include other things. So you might see pictures like this, where it shows someone's EDC. I've actually done a video on my EDC and the things that I like to carry day to day besides my gun. So my gun, extra magazine, flashlight, pepper spray, knife, those things. So you might see someone post a picture where it shows their EDC and that's just what they carry day to day or what they're carrying that day. Hashtag EDC. When we're talking about positioning a gun on your body, you might hear things like appendix position, three o'clock position, four o'clock position. The way to understand that is to think of your body like a clock. So say there's a clock placed over my waist and this is 12 o'clock. So one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock is right on my side, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. And that's how that goes. So if someone says I carry my gun in the three o'clock position, that means right here. Appendix position is right here. That's where I carry my gun. And those are the main positions where people would carry their firearms, whether on the left or the right side. So if someone mentions a o'clock position, just imagine your body like a clock with the front being 12 o'clock and then you go around clockwise like that. Okay, this next one varies by state. Here in Massachusetts, it's called an LTC. Where you live, it might be called a CWP. And these are all abbreviations for basically a firearms license. So LTC here in Massachusetts, and maybe that's what they call it where you live, is license to carry. CWP is concealed weapons permit. Let me know down below what they call it where you live because I know that it varies state to state, and there are more than just these two. So let me know down below what your firearms license in your state is called. So if you go back in time and think of when you were a new shooter, I'm sure there were terms you heard that you didn't understand. And I know that there are new shooters watching this video who will be reading the comments. So if you can think of a term that I did not include in this list, please explain it down below so that everyone can learn from the rest of this wonderful community we've created here. I so appreciate you guys. Again, please make sure you enter my giveaway so that you can win all of these cool things that I'm giving away, all of my favorite little items that you can use. I'll be announcing the winner on the 12th, which is in just a few days. So go enter if you haven't already. Wish you all luck. This is the last video I'm gonna be doing before then. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and you haven't subscribed already. Again, thank you to everyone who has, and I hope you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.